our top story today. Democratic presidential candidate the governor was Elm Drive in Levittown. News 12's Roger Stern is there now, and he has more for us. Roger? Well, the uh, limousines, the Secret Service uh, patrols, they're all gone. Uh, the governor's left uh, the Tolano household. He's now in MacArthur High School, presumably speaking about housing, which is why he came here. This house is owned by Louis Tolano, a retired uh, cop, also a former Democratic politician, uh, but uh, one who, like many families here, uh, has uh, more than one generation living under his roof. Uh, his son and daughter-in-law are expecting a baby today, and uh, they can't afford their own house, so they're living with the folks. So the governor was here to commiserate and uh, try to show that uh, the economy is not as rosy as the Bush uh, campaign would, would tell you it is. The governor is here, uh, Governor Dukakis, along with uh, Governor Cuomo, a, a strong Dukakis supporter in the Tolano household, as well as the Tolano family, uh, John F. Kennedy Jr., son of the late president, the Kitty Dukakis, uh, the uh, first lady. And we have, of course, pictures uh, to show you of um, sitting around uh, Kitty Dukakis drinking some coffee. and. Uh, they were uh, basically posing for the cameras. This, of course, is what you do in a campaign. You have what's called a photo opportunity, and uh, you, you look like you're, you're behaving naturally while you're surrounded by reporters and lights and cameras, and that's what the Tolanos did, and that's what uh, Governor Dukakis did. Then left here, uh, heading out uh, to MacArthur High School, had a chance to, to shout a question to him, asked him, uh, what are you going to do? You're behind the polls. He's behind the polls nationally, and he's not doing very well in the... Uh, in the south, uh, a crucial region uh, as far as the electoral college totals. Uh, Governor Dukakis pointed out that he was once 50 points ahead in an election in Massachusetts and wound up losing. So he says it's uh, close and uh, at least publicly he's still expressing optimism. Of course, uh, he's now going to MacArthur High School, as we said, to talk about housing, to talk about the fact that uh, this economy is not as good as the uh, Reagan-Bush people would tell us it is. Uh, Bush is running on a prosperity ticket. Uh, saying basically, let me, uh, if you want, uh, four more years uh, like the past eight, and uh, Governor Dukakis is saying, well, the uh, past eight wasn't all that rosy. Reporting from Levittown, Roger Stern, News 12, Long Island. Roger, Mr. Tolano, Louis Tolano Sr., uh, as you said, is a former New York City Housing Authority cop, and uh, also was the executive director of the New York City Peace Officers Benevolent Association. Is he, is Mr. Dukakis also kind of trying to woo more police support by coming to Long Island by visiting the Tolano's household? I don't know if that's why he was picked. Uh, that's probably a pretty good theory. Uh, there are three uh, police officers in the family, uh, the father and two sons, one's a state trooper, one's also another New York City police officer. Uh, that would certainly make sense. I have been trying all morning to find out exactly how they picked this family. Obviously, they're Democrats. Uh, Mr. Tolano once ran for the state senate. But uh, no one in the caucus campaign, at least no one uh, on the advance team here, could give me a clear answer as to how he was picked. But uh, certainly, if, if people infer that uh, the caucus has police support because he was the home of a uh, police officer, I'm sure the campaign wouldn't mind that one bit. Mm -hmm. All right, Roger, thank you very much.